Burisma Holdings. That's the natural gas firm in Ukraine that Vice President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, worked for, and it's now at the center of a scandal. Or I guess it isn't. Mainstream U.S. media insists that any claims of wrongdoing are simply a conspiracy theory that Donald Trump made up. Conspiracy theories. A conspiracy theory. Biden conspiracy theory. Vice President Mike Pence has just repeated his boss's debunked conspiracy. Biden conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theories continue. Well, documents that have newly been released under the Freedom of Information Act reveal that the U.S. government was already looking into potentially shady activities from the company in 2016. Furthermore, the documents reveal that Burisma Holdings even dropped the name of Hunter Biden, hoping to win a few brownie points from the Obama administration. Burisma attorney Karen Tramontano requested a meeting to discuss with Undersecretary Novelli, the State Department's official overseeing international energy, U.S. government remarks alleging Burisma, the Ukrainian energy company, of corruption. She noted that two high-profile U.S. citizens are affiliated with the company, including Hunter Biden, as a board member. Another board member mentioned his meeting with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. And the icing on the cake. A month goes by, and the prosecutor investigating Burisma Holdings gets fired. And we've got Vice President Joe Biden, the father of Hunter Biden, on tape bragging that he made it happen. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a <laughs> got fired. Now, Joe Biden insists he only wanted the prosecutor gone because he was known to be corrupt and that it has nothing to do with his son's employers. My insistence that a prosecutor who was viewed as corrupt be replaced was the official position of the president of the United States, the United States government, supported by Republican senators who sent a letter, sent a letter in 2016 calling for the removal of Shokin because of corruption. Although the fired prosecutor claims otherwise. Biden was acting not like a U.S. vice president, but as an individual, like the individual interested in having me removed having me gone so that I did not interfere in the Burisma investigation. Now, mainstream U.S. media glosses over it and says it's all just a big conspiracy theory. Well, look over these facts for yourself and determine if you really believe everything here is just A-OK. -okay. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.